All right, guys, before we get to the video really, really quick, guys, what I want to uh, do is <clears throat> I want to show you guys how to make a quick thumbnail, um, how to do the circle effect for NBA 2K18 videos. And if you want to stick around and watch the whole video, I'll show you guys how to make a thumbnail really fast um, in about, like I said, 10 minutes. It shouldn't take that long, so just follow along. If I'm going too fast, I'm going to be trying to explain everything throughout this video. If I'm going too fast, you can always slow down the um, the video itself on YouTube and just watch where I click and stuff like that, just so you guys can see. Um, and yeah, we'll just go from there and uh, let's get into it. So you're going to go to File, New. All right, I already have a custom one. The width you want 1280 by 720. Okay. Make sure it's on the middle one here. 640 resolution, 8-bit, do not change anything else, okay? I'm gonna hit create. Now, I want a different background. I don't want it to be white, so I'm gonna go to file, open, and I'm gonna go to my pictures, okay? I'm gonna come down to my pictures, and where's the proving? Right here, okay? I'm gonna go to my move tool. I'm gonna click on the picture, left click on the picture, drag it over to my main background here okay I'm gonna square it up nice and even like that I'm gonna right click on layer one blending options and I'm going to make this a little I'm gonna do a color overlay on it um, some people do like black some people do purple I mean it's really um, you know your preference and what you guys like really want um, you know your thumbnail to be if you want your thumbnail to be dark I want mine to have some sort of color so I kind of go with uh, like like a purple and I make the opacity you know just like light, lighten up the, the purple just a little bit like that don't want it to be too dark I don't want it to be like that but you know you can see the background stuff like that 42 should be pretty good all right now we can exit that out we'll go to file open I'm in my pictures again Okay, I have my green release one right here that I'm gonna do my circle effect with. I'm gonna go to file, open. I'm gonna go to my pictures again. I'm gonna go to my second green release that I have right here. Okay, I'm gonna go to file, open again. I'm gonna click on my other guy here. I'm gonna do another circle effect with him. Now I'm gonna get everything I'm gonna use in this video. I'm gonna just open up really quick from the beginning, okay? Um, for the most part. Open, I'm gonna go to download downloads rather um, and I have different GFX um, packs that I use the glow ones right here I'm gonna use this one um, and I'll show you guys that afterwards um, so we have the background here before I go into how I do the circle effect and stuff like that another thing that you guys can do with your background in order to make it look you know cooler and stuff like that <clears throat> make sure you click on layer one go to filter go to blur go to racial blur it's on 10 put it on 6 hit okay and it makes it look like that it makes it look blurry I know it looks crazy right now but trust me it'll look better once this whole thing is said and done I'm gonna go to my first picture green release one I'm gonna go to my ellipse marquee tool the second one down on my toolbar here left click it I'm gonna left click on the picture and I'm just gonna drag over and down okay let go of the button over to move the move tool come back over left click on him drag him over drop okay then I'm gonna come over to edit transform scale and we're gonna scale him up because I want him to pop out in this video now I'm gonna have two of these circle effects in this video so that being said I'm not gonna make them as big um, because I'm gonna obviously want some room for a little bit of text at the top because um, I plan on filling up basically this whole uh, picture here. So yeah, you're going to right click on layer two, blending options, and you're going to go to stroke. And they see the strokes that on um, black right now, I do, I usually do white. White is usually what I pick. And you see there, um, there's a stroke. It's white. Uh, a lot of people like to do, um, Instead of doing normal blend mode, they like to do overlay and it blends in with the background or whatever color the background is, it'll blend in with that. Just so you guys know, in case you're wondering, 
um, but I go with normal white I usually put this you can put this in between an 8 and a 10 I usually go with a 9 it's usually pretty good but I'm actually might go with an 8 this time so it's not too too crazy um, let me move, just move him a little bit okay and we're gonna slide down all right now that one's done all right so we can actually exit out that picture come to green release 2 which I'm gonna do same thing ellipse marquee tool left click on the picture drag over down let go go to your move tool left click drag over to your first picture that's your background and that's it edit transform scale now I'm gonna move him over here so I can size him up I want to kind of make it the same size as my other one here and that looks like it's about right okay hit the move tool hit apply I get one drag them over here okay to the other corner I want to leave a little bit of space in between here and there all right same thing layer three right click blending options gonna go to stroke okay and that's that for that tool there you might want to move him over just a little bit so he's not on the edge exactly like that move him up even him out got one there got one there okay now that's done okay so you're gonna take you're gonna go over here well I'm gonna go over here because I have this uh, GFX pack um, that I found yeah, I mean you guys could just like YouTube uh, you know glow thumbnail template pack or whatever it's free downloads you ain't got to pay nothing you got to put your email in and that's basically it they send you I think it's they'll send you like a link or something like that to your email and and then you're able to download it it's pretty simple it's pretty easy this you just want to put that in the middle put move this down here underneath the other two layers so it's sitting behind those other two layers um, and you just want to like yeah put it in the middle like that so we're gonna go to edit transform scale okay I just want to bring it down a little bit Get that even that looks even to me so I'm gonna place that there and all right that's that now I'm gonna do the same thing with my the player outline ellipse marquee tool same thing good outline of my guy's body the best that I can okay move tool left click drag over to the picture put him right in the middle here you're gonna want him at the bottom just above the background there edit transform scale okay I'm gonna drag them down scale them over you want to fill up all that purple in that energy shield there okay move apply now you guys are like oh my god look look oh my god you now you have his feet are not in the energy shield this and that go to erase okay make sure you're clicked on the guy that you just put in there though if that's what you're doing hit erase the erase tool and you're just gonna erase on the outside of this energy shield and that's it man you just erase it really quick it brings the, the background back see this there we go just like that just like that and pretty simple pretty easy um, for you guys to get to understand um, we're gonna use one more effect we're gonna get rid of energy shield and we're gonna use this last little background that they have here move tool I'm gonna drag it over we put it there I'm just gonna line it up until it's centered now apparently that's supposed to be uh, centered I don't think it's centered that no nope, that's centered sorry this you're gonna want to put right above the background your background or whatever you want to call it and that's basically it guys right there I mean that's basically your thumbnail uh, pretty quick pretty easy pretty uh, simple if you ask me uh, it's not that uh, difficult to really do okay so now if you want to add text to it hit the text tool here 
okay i use for my font i use edo s z 21 points for the text size you know i'm just gonna put circle effect okay there you go put it in the middle line it up make sure that your text is on top so it's always on top of whatever your image is you don't want it hiding you want people to be able to read it so you're gonna right click on circle effect the text there blending options put a stroke I want to put a stroke I usually do black strokes they seem to do pretty good uh, for me uh, you could go as big as you want with your effects I usually do 10 um, 10 is usually pretty good I might go 11 today um, you know you know what no nah. my normal 10 10 is good 10 is a good uh, one to have uh, I like to do bevel edges it makes the text pop a little bit more uh, I throw a little drop shadow back there uh, drop shadow you could kind of move like mess around with distance um, you know it's really up to you what you guys want to do with that uh, size is really the big thing uh, for this here with along with the opacity just gonna make it a little bit and then you can make it dark with the opacity it's like you lighten it up or you darken it up you can have that at 100 percent you can lighten it down it really all depends on what your preference is um if you want to change the color um of the text you could go to your gradient overlay and you could just put you know whatever you can have this effect there this color um gradient you could select whatever one you want i just happened to use the other one um, that was just on there. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right here. That's one of my favorite ones. This is another good one to use um, when it's on. What is it? 90, I think. How come that doesn't look right? <laughs> Reset to default. <laughs> that didn't look right to me. Okay, there we go. That one looks better, just like that. That looks pretty good. That's not bad, but I like to use this one. That's one of my favorite ones to actually use. We can lower the opacity a little bit and that's pretty much it guys i mean there's your thumbnail uh, do me a favor man if you're new to the channel hit the like button subscribe if you are new man and that's pretty much it guys man if you like the video please like your video share it if not do what you do super crazy i'm out face hey before i go really quick i almost forgot you guys are probably gonna ask how do I save what do I save this under and all this other fun jazz pretty quick pretty simple pretty easy um, you're gonna want to go over here to file save as you see where it says photo save as type Photoshop click on that you're gonna go to JPEG okay now wherever you want to save your thumbnail at you put I save mine in pictures I'm gonna put uh, circle effect two save okay that's it it's safe and just like that man you got yourself a quick nice little thumbnail it was that easy man you can